call for help has gone out in one North Texas community, and the people have answered. People in Denton are rallying behind an officer shot on duty. Our Ken Molestina joining us now. Ken, how is Officer Rodriguez doing? You know, his loved ones uh, say that it's going to be a long road, uh, Brooke, uh, to his recovery, but he is showing signs of improvement while he's still in the hospital. And as he recovers, hundreds are coming out to participate in a community fundraiser event. It's going on right now for Officer Rodriguez. Thin blue line American flags line the sidewalks outside of BJ's restaurant and brewery in Denton. The crowds turned out to show their support and participate in this fundraiser for Denton police officer Urbano Rodriguez, who was shot in late October during a traffic stop. Very pleasantly happy to tell you that he is incrementally progressing every day that goes by. And I'll tell you, every day that we have him with us is a blessing. Denton Police Chief Frank Dixon says he's optimistic about his officer's recovery. I have no doubt that if anybody's going to come through, it's going to be urban. BJ's restaurant, along with neighboring Bone Daddy's restaurant, agreed to donate 20% of all of today's proceeds to the Rodriguez family. It's that kind of community support Chief Dixon says goes a long way in showing the officer and his family they aren't alone. Because at the end of the day, the community is the police, and the police, we are the community as well. The chief confirmed the suspect in the officer shooting, Antoine Pinkston, is now facing an additional charge of aggravated assault on a public servant. The investigation still being headed by the Texas Rangers. We are purposely staying out of it for, you know, we don't want any appearance of impropriety whatsoever. We want to be as transparent as we can. Meanwhile, even event organizers say their focus is on supporting the Rodriguez family any way they can. Denton is a community, and we will come out of this, but the city of Denton completely supports their officers like no other city I've ever seen. Well, the fundraiser, by the way, runs until closing time tonight at both BJ's Restaurant and Brewery and over at Bone Daddy's Restaurant in Denton. We're told more than 900 people are expected throughout the evening. Doug? We wish him big success. Thank you, Ken. Enjoy.